everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Square the Tanager, and I am playing some Skyrim. We need to go find Tullius. Because we need to yell at him. And we need to go yell at Ulfric. Because we need them to stop fucking fighting while we have a shit ton of dragons torching the entire place they're fighting over. Seems a little, uh, King Solomon split the baby down the middle. This entire civil war in the middle of a dragon catastrophe. Hey, Dolius! I love how we can just walk in here. <laughs> I was just gonna say, it's like, I can just walk in here and talk to him. Reason to be here, citizen? Yes, I do. Uh, I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, <laughs> oh Hi. Yes. You were at Helgen. Yes. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Yes. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere. I came. No, wait, no, 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 mm, no. There's something I can do for you? Perhaps direct you to the nearest prison? We're not doing civil war shit right now. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Uh, they're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. You know, that emperor's not really the rightful emperor. He's not a, um, septum. If you look into the lore, he's really not the rightful emperor. Like, very much not the rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. You don't but see. I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. Well, now you have to. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Or, we could take care of the dragons, then you can keep, and then you can go back to killing each other. Dragons are a bigger a problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. So you're gonna let your own men die? The Empire can't afford to snub the Greybeards. Uh, <laughs> you have a point. I'm always surprised by how seriously the Nords take these things. Yeah, it's best to, uh, not piss off the extreme the group of people whom culture is extremely important to them. <laughs> You'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. We just need you guys to knock it off he for like five minutes so we can capture a you dragon. <laughs> That's not right behind you. Report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a <laughs> he didn't see that. <laughs> I, I have to steal all the cheese. It's it's a it's a compulsion. I'm a sword man myself. What the fuck? Um. Excuse me. That was from a mod. <laughs> that was from a mod I have installed. <laughs> Ignore that. It has nothing to do with anything we're going to be covering. <laughs> in this let's play. <laughs> I forgot that some stuff triggers as you get higher in level. Oh, right. I haven't discovered that location. I've only discovered the thing right outside of it. I just haven't gone into Winhelm. <laughs> I only went to its stables. Shrug. Gain cooking experience by creating- I still haven't found a freaking cooking pot! Oh, there's bound to be one in uh, Ulfric's castle. Place. Thing. This is fine. <laughs> this is gonna end well. Or it could take five thousand years to uh, load. Could do that. Uh. Okay. <laughs> the audio cut out for a minute. What? God damn it! Every time I show up to Winhelm. There's always something attacking that damn stable. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I have more important things to do than worry about the rabble fighting outside the stables. That is for the guards. Um, I have a field of fucks and it is currently barren. So we're going onwards. Cause I need to find myself a damn cooking pot. 
I like to cook in video games, damn it. <laughs> also, so my character stops being thirsty and hungry. Even though you guys aren't really seeing the effects of that on Let's Play, it just makes things a little bit more difficult and just sort of is a general debuff on your character. Only with one of the mods I have installed. I can't remember which one it is. I should totally list all the mods I have installed, shouldn't I? Seeing as this is a mod, modded playthrough of Skyrim. The only reason I haven't yet is because, again, there's 300 of them and I'm lazy. On top of that, I do have to do a little bit of configurating with them. Still here. Because there's one or two issues I haven't fixed with them yet, but you know. And you refuse to help the Stormcloak. Shut up. I have more important things to do, like deal with the dragons! You'd think people would be a little bit more concerned. Dragon Boy. It is my honor to stand before you. Is it? Is it though? Are you gonna keep saying that it is? If I decide to side with the other guys? In the in the thing with the stuff. <laughs> My plan at the moment for this let's play is to do the main quest. It is on contend let's play. Then do the um give us a straight answer. Each one of the um a true DLCs is their own Don't be so sure you know, contend let's play. And then I'm gonna start doing some modded quests. I take the cheese. The white God damn it. And what would you have me do? <sighs> Not Only us. the foolish or the courageous approach a yarl without summons. Do I know you? Uh, I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? Peace Council! They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace is done. I have the with. greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But. The political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. He already said he was going to be. General Tullius has already agreed. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. I mean, so they come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Really, dude? <laughs> I am so conflicted. She knows that. Between know the, that. um... How long are you going to Legion, wait? or between you the Empire and it. between the Stormcloaks. There... That is one thing that Bethesda did really well in this game, I feel. That, especially if you look into it and you read the lore books and you pay attention, there are so many pros and cons to siding with either one of them. There's literally no right answer. <laughs> There's pros and cons to both. Also, if you guys see me rubbing my hand during the next um, few videos, it's because uh, this hand is injured. And this is the fourth video I've done in a row. Yes. As you can see by the fact that I'm wearing a compression glove because it's the only thing that stops you from itching that. <laughs> So, yeah, my hand hurts. It's painful. <laughs> Things that happen when you get splashed to boiling oil with boiling oil at the job that you have in food service that is trying to kill you. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll make enough on YouTube, Twitch, and Etsy and stuff to act in Patreon to be able to quit my job. But for now, I'm going to just injure myself. <laughs> of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace 
I should not have agreed to host this. Arngir is such a goddamn grump. Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't uh, It's the only way to get Balgraf's yes. help. Yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. If your traditions are that important to you, then you wouldn't be going against or wanting to go against the rule of your boss. Take your seat at the council table and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Warriors can have wisdom. You know, paladins? No. God, I am letting my D&D &D card show. I can't remember if it's paladins or clerics that's the wisdom one. So, no, paladins are charisma. Here, you know clerics are wisdom. Are you going to let us in or not? Yeah. Not but clerics are also warriors. So it fits. You're not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. Oh, hi, Delphine! Since How the fuck did you know what was going on? Dragonborn on this path. I mean, true. Where are you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Rude! If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain doing nothing. I mean, true. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse your grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. All Dwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know True. a great deal Still about here. the situation and the threats Shut up, all Lydia. Uh -huh. You need us here That's if you want this here. council to succeed. Hi, Delphine. We should get started. Alduin is only well. getting stronger. Who the hell told you this is going on? Okay, bye. Uh, I can't. I can't see. Oh, there we go. Ooh, snowberry. Just making a round of the room, you guys. Just, just gotta check for some cheese. Some new more cheese? No? Okay. I see it. I glitched through the table. Oh, Ellis lives here. <laughs> Oops. Um. Lydia? You're sitting in General Tullius's seat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's gonna have something he's gonna want to say about that. <laughs> now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Well, how's this gonna go? Oh, there we go. She moved. <laughs> I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. <laughs> nope. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. No, you don't. <laughs> I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. No. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation. We will never get any. Then I have to negotiate the negotiation Perhaps of the terms of the negotiation. <laughs> to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. We don't need that kind of language, Ulfric. <laughs> I don't like her either. Tullius doesn't really want her either. Well, Tullius doesn't want her here. And you and Ulfric doesn't want her here. Then fuck it! I'm glad we agree on this. <laughs> she shouldn't be here! Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. Get the fuck out of here, Ellen. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha, then why Skyrim were you here? Will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike Lydia, your you're standing next to the wrong here. guy. I'm your boss. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's counsel, Thalmor. Legate, it's next. We represent the Emperor here. He is next to Baldress, but I'm, I'm her direct boss. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say. There's an empty seat. Here we go. <laughs> the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Shut up, Rike. To allow the dragonborn here 
to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Ulfric is can insufferable. You just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over. Still here. Are we ready Shut up, to Leia. proceed? <laughs> Jarl Ulfric, General Tullian. What is Lydia doing? This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace. Yeah, I have the Open Civil War mod installed. That's like not going to end well, dude. The negotiations. Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markov. I've got your back. Lydia, shut up! I'm busy! So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? Yep. I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. God, you guys! Wait, don't think I'll turn! General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. Riften. Riften could be very useful, but I feel like it would not be useful to the um to the Imperials because it's so heavily entrenched in the Thieves Guild and the Blackbriar family. Markarth can be a very powerful city because of its situation in the mountains and how easily defendable it is, um, and the fact that it has all of the it has the mine. However, it also keeps getting attacked by the Forsworn. So, Dawnstar. Man, I can't remember shit about Dawnstar. Uh, <laughs> Dawnstar. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric, plus all the mead we can drink. I mean, true. Fine. Fuck it. Take Riften. I'm glad you agree. Starting to wonder whose side you were on here. Still here. Lord has spoken, Gullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything done. Still here. Lydia, shut the fuck up! I'm busy. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name, but it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I told you to take Riften. See now that this is not a negotiation at all. God damn it, Tullius. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon True. enough, I'll have you back <laughs> under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity? Esbern! Esbern with the save! Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? Yes, so my lady. Right. Shut up, Lydia. Watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. 
Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I do like I do like Esbern, even if they did botch the blade storyline in this game. I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? <laughs> hey, Ulfric started it. <laughs> we want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. I mean... <laughs> imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. Uh-uh, that's not how that works. Oh, so, Dragonborn. Uh-uh. What do you say? Not how that works. Old Fix should compensate well said. you. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. There you go. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Wait, how do you know who will become the Jarl? Ulfric will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become Oh the shit! <laughs> so Blackbriar gets even more control. I forgot about that. Compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. I'm okay with this. You both agree to this? I've got your back. Lydia, shut up. Iron will live up to their agreements as long as the Imperators hold to them. What about you, Alison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up. I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General You killed her husband, dude. Leave, like leave her alone. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. <laughs> the Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. After that, Alfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. We'll start, bro. Come on, come on. <laughs> We're not going to be doing that particular quest until after I do all the other DLCs. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Thalgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Oh wait, I should probably still sit. And my men will help you spring this trap. Cool! But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? This is fine. Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy. Skyhaven, that's Sky what it was, not Skyhold. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Baldwin has raised out. My bunny is staring at me. Having a staring contest. <laughs> How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the Parther, dragon... Nax, Alduin. He hear yeah. you, wherever he might be. Why would he come uncalled? He's compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Checks out. <laughs> your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Alfred. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. And then we're going to trap him. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here. The scroll. Old Arvin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Fun. It gives you what time. It won't last. Dun, 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 dun. 
Okay. I'm glad you were able to negotiate a truce. But I don't trust you. Shut up, Alasif! <laughs> we all know your butt hurt because he blew up your husband. As soon as I get back to White Run, I'll get my men ready. Uh, eh, I could end the video here. Even though this entire video is just talking, but it gives me a chance to, you know, cut the video and start with um, the dragon stuff. So I guess I'll end it here. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Skyrim. I'll see you all in the next video.